So this is what I'm thinking, using these pallets right here, they're heavy duty plastic. If I take T-posts, drive them down through each of the two sections. Today we need to come up with a system to keep Harriet and possibly Hannah in place while the vet does castration. She'll be here Friday, so we have a couple days to get stuff in place. I have a few ideas in mind involving T-posts and skids. I'm ready to spread some chicken feed. Because today they'll chew down what's there. It's pretty chilly out here. It's probably about 38 degrees. Tell you one thing, I'm ready to get this garden started. Pull off that silage tarp and let's roll. Hi, hi, not right now, not right now. Oh boy. Every time, every time. Well, we're gonna have to revisit this at a later time. I cannot escape these geese. <laughs> they are forever destroying my audio seems like when I talk they they talk non-stop so Boris and his buddies have destroyed the pile of rye grass I put in there for them it's good to see that last year's failure is this year's success harvesting the rye grass by hand and giving it to the mangoes, they are just destroying it, eating it all up. So this is what I figured out so far. An enclosure, something like this, their feed trough will go right back there and you got your sides, we'll have the T posts, going down through each slot. That back one will probably get three T-posts. And then I just need to find one skid, preferably a lighter one, but heavy duty, to go right here in the front. We're gonna have to preset the T-posts, figure that out. I'm getting the T-post back out, I'm not worried about. I have a tool that gets the T-post out. Thanks to Al Lumna, in one of his vlogs, he used a tool to take out T-posts. And it was very simple. So I went ahead on Amazon, followed his link, and got myself one. And it is very easy to use. I actually have grass growing in the leftover compost in the back of my truck. Let's get this stuff loaded up. <clears throat> get three quarters of it put up and we will also get the t-post in place for the uh, the last skid 
once when the uh, the mama and possibly Hannah are feeding, we'll just drop that last skid over the T-post. They'll be enclosed. Then we'll be able to handle the piglets without any problems for the castration come this Friday. Looking forward to that one. It's something that we want to learn to do ourselves and not rely on a vet every time. So we'll figure we're gonna call in a vet to do the first round and hopefully we can learn everything on the first call. And then from there on out, we can do it ourselves, but I'm a hands-on type of guy. So I'd rather have a pro there to show me how to do the castration. And then hopefully I can take it from there. We will see. Ah, uh, yes, the struggle is real. That's why we let gravity do the work for us. You gotta be smart when you're homesteading. So, judging by the width of this setup, I think it's probably only safe to put Harriet in here and not both Harriet and Hannah. I just don't think it's wide enough, but at the same time, I don't want it to be super wide to where Harriet can have leverage against the walls and push all of her weight against the walls and even possibly even try to climb out. I don't know if that's possible, but to be on the safe side. So this is what we're looking at so far. I'm going to put uh, one more skid on each side com coming out. And then I'm going to set my T posts for the uh, skid that will close her in. Now, as far as handling the piglets, I'm not worried about Hannah as much as I am about Harriet. I don't think Hannah is gonna care that we're gonna be handling Harriet's piglets. I don't see Hannah being on the uh, defense like Harriet would be, so. I'm going to bait Harriet in here with uh, some feed and then close her in here and then we'll get the uh, castration uh, done as quickly as possible. And there we go. So this is what it will look like after it's all said and done and Harriet's inside. Plenty of room. There's not enough room for Hannah and that's okay. We can handle Hannah. It's not Hannah's piglets, so she won't be defensive. Harriet, I built that to test it. You're supposed to go in and eat.
I guess the piglet's got to eat too, huh? 